In this video I'm going to show you how to check the charging system output on a 2009 Kawasaki KLR650. Um, first thing you need to do is warm this bike up, get it, get it to operating temperature. Then you need to remove the seat to get to the battery terminals. Uh, there's two side panels on the bike. There's one on each side just like this. They fit right here on the bike on the side. They're held on by two 8mm bolts. You just need to take the bolts out and this pulls off. Once you get both of these off, both side panels, you can. Uh, there's two bolts, one on each side of the bike that fit right here and they hold the seat on. Uh, you remove those bolts, or 10 millimeter bolts, and you can lift the seat up and, and take it out. Once you get your bike at operating temperature and the seat off and, and you have access to the battery terminals, you want to, want to uh, test the, the, the state of your, your uh, lead acid battery. Um, it should be fully charged. A uh, fully charged battery, um, according to the climber manual, should read 13 volts or above. Um, this is just your typical lead acid battery, so I would think anything 12.6 volts or above would be okay. Um, so you, you want to take your meter, set it to the DC, you want to measure DC volts, um, get it in the proper range, and then check the voltage of your battery with the bike off, the key off. Um, you can see in this Hopefully, it's a uh, 13.15 volts. So this is a fully charged battery. If your battery isn't fully charged, I have another video that I made um, about how to check check your battery and how to charge it. Um, go back and watch that video, then come back to this one. Um, once you've determined that your battery is fully charged, you're going to want to start the bike raise the RPM up to 3000 RPM and then turn your headlights on high beam and then check the voltage across your battery the same way you check the, to, to determine um, if the battery is fully charged. You should get a reading of 13.8 uh, between 13.8 and 14.8 volts. Um, if, you get, if, you, if you have a reading within that range then your charging system is working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Hopefully you saw that you could see that the reading I was getting was between uh, was around averaging about 14.5 volts uh, with the light on high beam and the engine running at 3,000 RPM. So I was in between that range of 13.8 and 14.8 volts. If the reading you were get was out of range, if it wasn't between 13.8 and 14.8 volts, um, if your reading was, for example, too low, you'd you probably want to check your you know get a manual and check your regulator rectifier, make sure that's working properly. Check your wiring, check for any open or short circuits. Um, you can check your stator. Um, it's really important for all these things uh, and for the specs of your bike to get a manual. Um, if your reading was too high, uh, you can check your you want to check your voltage regulator rectifier, make sure that it's not damaged. Um, also make sure, you know, like I said before before you start, make sure you're using a good battery and it's fully charged. Um, also another thing, uh, when you go to use your use your meter, you want to make sure that your, your red lead is on the positive terminal and your black lead is on the negative terminal. Um, if it's not, you'll get a negative number in, in your meter. Um, it won't change the magnitude of the number, but it'll just it'll just show a negative number instead of a a, a positive number when the when the leads are reversed. Um, but anyway, uh, that's that's all there is to it to check um, check to make sure your your KLR is putting out the correct regulated voltage. So, um, hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.